What's up guys? It's Nick and today I wanted to talk about 10 small a little bit easy ways to save money coming from almost like four years working already and I feel like I've kind of gotten the hang of just uh, managing my money and finding ways to save up money so that I can put it in things that add more value and just spark joy in my life so I wanted to share it with you guys and hopefully you guys get inspired to save up money on things that you actually care about and actually enjoy. If you guys want to know the 10 small ways that I save up money, then keep on watching. And of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And let's get on to the video. In general, how what will keep you motivated in just saving up money and cutting back on things is what is your ultimate goal in saving up. So for me, I just want to travel more and invest on experiences rather than on material things. You want to fully enjoy these things without knowing in the back of your head that I'm spending so much that I probably don't have anything left. Just try to think about what sparks joy in your life and how are you going to invest on your happiness. So I'm gonna share with you guys like 10 things that I either buy less of or stop buying completely or just make a mindful effort to not overspend when it comes to these things. So first is milk tea or buying Starbucks. It's kind of a trend right now, lining up for milk tea, you know what I mean? Or like buying Starbucks, buying coffee. And the thing is, there's nothing wrong with that. It's when you keep on buying these things almost every day or you just don't notice anymore that you don't only spend so much time lining up but you also spend 150 to you know 180 just around that range for a drink and the thing is like it's okay to do that but for me like if there was a time that I was kind of like into milk tea and I realized that it adds up try to think about like the drinks that you often buy and can you reduce those things so that you could actually save up that 120 150 pesos that you spend in a day just a little hack i actually do my own milk tea at home i have my earl grey tea um, which is in a tea bag i i have my own kettle with hot water and i just dip it inside the mug and then i just wait for it and then i put actual milk and i put honey and it's surprisingly good and i drink that like almost every day second thing which is kind of difficult for someone like me because i do post makeup tutorials which is i stopped buying less of makeup that i don't need this is coming from the person who had a really huge makeup haul a few months ago because of that i've also come to a realization that i don't want to do that again <laughs> as much as i enjoyed doing it after that, I didn't also like the feeling of knowing that I spent so much on makeup that probably I'm not gonna finish up for the you know rest of my life. I really need to appreciate every single makeup item that I have rather than it's a collection. I should think of it as like makeup that I actually need to use. I know it's crazy, but because I have, I, I think for an average person, I think I have quite a lot of makeup, able to also look at every item in my collection and think how can I use this differently maybe I should try to change up the eyeshadow palette I use every day because I keep on using the same things third is I stopped buying clothes for special occasions so sometimes we get into this habit we're in oh you have to go we have to go to a wedding or you have to go to this party or any type of special occasion and you think that you don't have clothes for that event and that's when we buy clothes that we will probably just use less than five times and then get rid of it or something like that so i made a conscious effort that if i'm going to an event either i look through my clothes and see how i can mix match my clothes or second I, i'll see how i could borrow clothes from my mom or my sister because one way or another we have the same size or style that i could find a way to be resourceful and reduce clothes or shoes i'm able to be more conscious in the purchasing decisions that i make when i buy clothes 
fourth is what I stopped doing also is mindless window shopping. So when you think about it, when you go to a mall, what do you do? You walk around. Gagala ka, walking to different stores, Bershka, Stradivarius, H&M, you know. And do you really think you're just gonna walk there and just look at clothes? No, you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna fit the clothes, see if it looks cute, tell yourself that you know I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna see if it's cute. But then in the end, you really think you're not gonna buy at least one item, you know. I'm talking to myself here. For me, ignorance is bliss. If I don't go inside the store, if I don't see anything cute, if I don't see things that I I lack. Like, you know, I don't have that color. I don't have those ripped jeans in that denim color or whatever. If I don't see that, then there's no thought process of me thinking that I probably need that when I, in fact, don't. I, I made that effort like, okay, I actually need to buy, say, I need to go to Watson's because I need to buy napkins, for example, TMI. But if I'm going to Watson's to buy napkins, I'm going to Watson's to buy napkins. I'm not gonna go around, just go to the Maybelline section, check what's on sale, or, or you know, pass by some other store going to Watson's. You know, I will not be distracted because on my list, I just need to buy napkins. I know it's like so simple, but for girls like me, sometimes we go to a wrong turn. And we realize that when we were supposed to just buy napkins, we bought five other things that we convinced ourselves that we needed at that time. So, story of my life, but that has ended. <laughs> Fifth thing that I'm buying less of is movie tickets. I know it's kind of like, yeah, like you don't go to the movies on Saturdays. Well, the beauty of it is that we have Netflix, we have YouTube. Why do we have to keep on spending 280 or, you know, sometimes 300 pesos for a movie. I will only watch a movie if either I have actually been wanting to watch that movie before it came out or second, I'm actually interested in watching that movie at that certain point in time. I'm not just gonna watch a movie for the sake of, uh, what else are we gonna do? Let's just watch a movie. Movies, when you think about it, there, if you do it every weekend, it adds up. Maybe you could just like binge watch a series on Netflix or you know, watch my videos on YouTube. <laughs> Your, your, your wallet and your pocket will probably thank you for that. For the sixth thing is fast food slash junk food. So before, I remember when I would be like stressed or in a rush, I would end up say buying breakfast at Mokto or um, buying mini stop chicken because mini stop chicken is like the best chicken, can I just say? And what I did was that I just had to make a conscious effort to um, prepare my food for the week during the weekends or I wake up early in the morning to prepare my food or I buy snacks, good snacks in advance like nuts, grapes, bananas so that I don't end up buying comfort food or like you know junk food to satisfy my need for something salty or sweet. I think it helps to just like satisfy your need to just bite on something or chew on something because sometimes we're just like that we just want to eat something for the sake of chewing <laughs> or is it just me i hope it's just not me tell me like someone out there is just like me okay for the seventh thing is that i stopped buying or stopped buying less of yogurt and ice cream red mango white hat blk or ice cream like gelato gelatissimo like those actual stores that prepare it for you there are ways that you could do it yourself or look at other alternatives so for yogurt i actually do my own yogurt parfait at home so i buy flavored greek yogurt in the groceries and then i put granola in it and then i put um, bananas and I put it in the freezer and then it's just it's my favorite yogurt concoction and also I could use it for smoothies I put Greek yogurt frozen banana and milk and I have my own banana yogurt smoothies next is the eighth thing which I talked about in my previous video which is I stopped riding grab 
or minimize threading grab. If you haven't watched that video on why I stopped threading grab, I'll put a link here or somewhere down below. Um, but basically, I stopped writing grab going to work or going home because grab is expensive. It's like 200 pesos, 250 pesos even, sometimes 300, which are amounts that are not a joke when they add up so I looked at other alternatives one of which is wonder so I just pay 50 pesos going to work and sometimes I read our company shuttle going to work which is for free so the point here is that we need to open our minds to other alternatives not be stuck in the position like wala ka nang choice when I looked at my expenses and saw that Grab really takes up a lot of my salary a lot of my budget when I was able to just reduce like my grab every single day there's a big big difference of of savings really ninth thing that is a small way to save up money which is reducing your data consumption um you're probably saying like how do you know how do you know i overspend and i always go beyond my plan every single month because i know I've been there. You're like, my bill is just supposed to be 600 pesos and I've reached 2,000 pesos. Like, how the hell did that happen? First is how you can reduce your data consumption is first, you know, you can always check how much you've consumed with your data with Globe, right? Well, for me, I'm Globe. And you can always check that, like, say, your 6 gig, how much have you spent already when you're just halfway your statement billing? I had to lessen, especially ID stories. Like, they take up a lot of your data that you don't even know, especially YouTube. So, those things that take up a lot of my data, I reserve it in my actual Wi Fi because I also pay for my Wi Fi. Think about how you can lessen your screen time and how you can be more productive with your screen time. Things that you've always wanted to do but felt you never had time, maybe you could do those things on your way to work or on your way home. We are on our 10th, which is that I stopped buying or buying less of alcoholic drinks. I'm close to four years in working, so I kind of had that experience of when you're working for your first year and you just feel like splurging it's a big save for me because i'm not able to buy 1000 to 2000 a night for drinks just just also try to think about if you are really saving up for something saving up for that trip saving up for that gadget you've always wanted or just saving up in general then it's just also one of the things that you can cut back on you know sometimes it doesn't hurt to stay at home and just netflix because that's the story of my life. So there you go. Those are 10 ways that you can save money. Listing down these things, you might think that I'm such a killjoy or like I don't enjoy life. But to be honest, since I've done those things, I felt like I'm able to appreciate life more and enjoy life more because I don't feel guilty of spending so much or like, you know, realizing that I'm more conscious now of where my money is going and because of that I'm also I'm also making conscious decisions on where I'm spending my money. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!